Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Maria Valletta, and today we are in the kitchen with Chef Olivier de Saint-Martin from Caribou Cafe on Walnut Street in Philadelphia. Oui, bonjour. Bonjour. What are we making today, Chef? Today we're going to do a typical French meal, like uh, you will find uh, in uh, any household in France. Uh, very simple, good and fresh. We're going to start with uh, escargot. Oh, one of my favorites. Then we'll have a uh, rainbow trout. Uh, prepared a, a French way and uh, apple tart to finish. Sounds very French, sounds very good. Something Let's simple. get started. Okay, great. Well, uh, why don't we start with a little bit of uh, my sparkling here. Just to, to get it, yeah, just to get us going. And then uh, you have a couple of cups of uh, glass over there. I can grab that. And then we can start uh, rolling. So this is a sparkling wine that you've seen. Woo! Oh, hey, voila! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> That's part of the action. <laughs> I feel what like when I'm, I'm in France already. See? <laughs> so you're actually from the region of Champagne, correct? I am from uh, Champagne, uh, absolutely. But you've had this specially made for you and for the restaurant, right? Because I believe I saw your name on it. Yeah, it says Caribou Cafe. What I, I, I am very good friend with... Uh, cheers, Santé. Cheers, Santé. I'm very good friend with these winemakers and they made it for me uh, since I'm from Champagne. What mm. they did, they uh, this is wonderful. put more Chardonnay in this, and it's uh, a little bit more brut than uh, the their typical wine. Brut meaning dry for those of us exactly. who aren't familiar right. with it. Great. So, here you go. So now we're on the roll. I'm going to drink a little bit. We're going to start with the apple tart. Granny Smith apples? I use Granny Smith apple. In the old days, we used to use um, Golden Delicious, but mm -hmm. uh, now they're not always as... Um, Juicy all the time, all year long. So what I do, I use green Smith apple, and they're always like a little tart, and they're always juicy, which is very good. Now I've noticed even at the restaurant, you sometimes use apple in your uh, salad, which is nice. It's a nice touch. Yeah, it's uh, when they're nice or and pear, fresh and crispy. Like yeah, it's, it's a very nice touch. Yeah. So we cut it very pepper thin, which is very important for the recipe, because we're going to cook that in about eight to ten to twelve minutes, depending on the oven. So if it's, uh, the slices are a little bit too thick, then they won't work. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some uh, puff pastry, like this. So, it's so a, there's a, there is a French name for this dessert, right? And how do you call it? Uh, tarte aux pommes? Ah, tarte aux fines aux pommes. Tarte aux fines aux pommes. Yeah, because yeah. it's very thin, so yes. thin. And, and uh, then we uh, put the very thin apple tart, apple slice on the top, like this, pepper mm -hmm. thin, butter and sugar, and that's it. That's yeah, it. That's, that's uh, all you need. So we can, uh, uh, I'm going to remove that for now. I'm going to pre-curl it a little bit so the middle doesn't rise, doesn't rise, but the, the, the side can rise a little bit. So once you do this, now you put the apple all along like this. Looks pretty. You go. So now dessert is, is, a, is one thing that's a specialty at Caribou Cafe, but I love that Caribou is open all day. You come for brunch on the weekends, come for lunch during the day, on the weekdays, dinner at night, happy hour with a special sparkling. It's, it's really a restaurant, I feel, that carries over through all the meals that you like to enjoy with your friends and with your family and it's a very casual bistro but fabulous food well the thing is uh, it's uh, it's exactly what you will find in paris or in lyon those big uh, those big uh, cities uh, it's a brasserie like i like you say it's open all year long so here we put a little bit uh, melted uh, butter on it french butter yeah french butter of course <laughs> and then uh, it really does have a better flavor all right, so now for the sugar, this is what uh, the trick is. I have the Show sugar here. Show me the here. secret. And uh, what I do, all the, the vanilla beans that I have extra uh, oh. at, uh, at the restaurant, we process it with the sugar, so the sugar always have a nice, a nice uh, flavor of vanilla. Oh. So you put a lot of... That's uh, a nice little secret and a tip. Yeah. So if you, if, what do you usually use the vanilla beans for? Well, for a creme brulee, the okay. bread pudding we have and everything. So you dry them, uh, you dry the vanilla beans at the end, and then you put them, uh, you process it with the, with the sugar and then smell it. It smells delicious. Oh, you and can really smell it. It's going to be related on the apple tart. That's fantastic. So we put that at, uh, depending on the oven, we put that at uh, 380 to 425. So fairly hot. Fairly hot, yeah. but the, the bottom of the crust has to be 
totally done. And the, um, the apples have to be nice and soft. Okay. And the butter and the sugar will caramelize, so it will be perfect. Soft caramelized top and golden brown bottom. That's it. Stay tuned for more from Master Chef Olivier. We now return to the chef's kitchen. You have such a great wine selection that I actually don't even know how you choose. Well, I... Do you do the wine list yourself? Since we are uh, French restaurant, what I do, I, uh, I serve French wines, which is... Uh, my favorite. Uh, my favorite, too. Oh, I'm uh, sure. But I do, I do um, put on the wine list some wine that nobody uh, is familiar with. Like, uh, of course, we have the Merlot, the Pinot Noir, the Cabernet, all this stuff. But we also have Corbière. We have uh, Cahors. We have nice. Madiran, which are those wines that the French people drink. You know, per region you get a different uh, wine, and that's the one I have on the wine list. I bet that goes very well with the food, too, because you do very classic, almost everyday French food. So the wines that you're choosing are going to go pair, pair perfectly with that. Yeah, if you, drink, if you eat a cassoulet or mm. a choucroute, of course you're going to want a, a more hearty wine, yeah. like a Madiran or a Cahors. Cahors is good of with cassoulet. Because, yeah, absolutely. So that's, uh, you know, we say in French, uh, the terroir, we talk about the terroir. What the, if the food is from uh, the, that terroir, the wine has to come from that terroir as well. So, all right, so I have this little brioche here, which I, uh, uh, and, you know, I carve a little bit the inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I do, I put uh, some uh, tomato concasse in this. So this which is, is the escargot uh, that we're That's the escargot dish, together. yeah. Great. So the tomato concasse, it's nothing more than a bunch of tomatoes with onions that uh, you cook in olive oil or butter. Mm -hmm. And you let it, um, you let it uh, cook until it's completely dry, so for the taste, okay? Nice and slow. And then we put that in the oven for the time being. Now, normally you make a bunch of those at one time for the restaurant, right? That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that uh, escargot, we can take that off the menu, of course, uh, not only because we're French, we but we love, love, people love that, so we have to. All right, for the escargot, what I do, there is many kinds of escargot. There is about, uh, uh, I think it's about, 180 kind of escargot, so uh, I'm what not going to... What is your favorite? Well, uh, in, in this country we use the uh, helix uh, escargot, mm -hmm. but of course in France uh, some have uh, the big white are their favorite, the petit gris are the other favorite, you know, de depending on the uh, so different... Uh, so, anyway, so we're going to saute this escargot with a little of shallots. So this is a dish that's been on your menu for Forever. What, I mean, the last uh, 10 years. Your restaurant's been open for 10 years now, right? Yeah, but I've been in this city for since 89, and I always had this cargo in, uh, in, uh, on my menu. So I, I would like to add some mushroom with it. So today it's going to be shiitake okay. mushroom. OK, so shallots, escargot. Um, smells wonderful already. I can yeah, smell the aroma a little garlic as well. And what we do, we cook that a little bit. All to, to make sure you, all the water, the natural water of the escargot is completely out. And when I go into your restaurant, it's the decor, you know, the bistro seating and the, the artwork that you have up and the traditional feel of the space that really makes you feel like you're at home in France. Yeah, when I bought the restaurant in 2003, because it's about, uh, it's 10 years, about, uh, you know, day to day, uh, it's, uh, it was a little bit like this, I mean, the bar was there, the antique bar from Belgium was there. But then I uh, empathize it with uh, new posters that I found in Paris. And this, this place, there is not, not a place like this. I mean, everybody who comes to my place, uh, it's like we are, we're in Paris, we're not in, in Philadelphia. All right, so you see everything started to get nice and brown here. That's it great. looks like it's attaching. So what I do, I usually use some white wine, but we don't have white wine in our hand. So hey, what the hell, you know? Left, that's good. All right. Woo! All right, that's <laughs> don't good. Don't get too close. And what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit of cream. No, oh, that's Just the secret a little ingredient, bit. isn't it? Not too much. And parsley. And the parsley, I, uh, I'm fighting about this with all my students who work with me. Parsley should not be a garnish, it should be an ingredient. Ah. Just like the Italians have the basil, I, yes. have, the, I have the parsley. You have the parsley. Now that, that's, a, that's a, a great thing for those of us at home that are cooking to learn. Because I do think that most of us look at it as a garnish and not as a real ingredient. And for French cooking, you do see it used more often as an ingredient. All right, and a little bit of salt. 
And here we yeah. are. Oh, that's beautiful. See, that's very uh, simple and very attractive. You do need the bread to soak up all that beautiful sauce. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Just like that. That's lovely. All right. Stay tuned for more from Master Chef Olivier. We now return with more from Master Chef Olivier. So now we're going to cook the trout. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil, and of course, because we're <laughs> French, we have to use a little bit of butter. It's not That's just actually a little bit. That I yeah. would agree. No, no, I mean, it's not crazy. Well, we'll see later for the sauce. That's going to be a whole different story. But, <laughs> but it's okay. So the trout, here's oh, the, the whole trout. trout. That's okay. great. So we have the trout. Uh, what we do with the trout, we can do a couple of things. Some people use the scissors. You slice them in half. Yeah, so yep. the, those ones are the bones. That's the way they're supposed wow. to come. I mean, they come these days. So uh, we can take this with the scissors, like they usually do, like this and like this. Mm -hmm. But what I do, I go inside. I, I pull the two sides like this, and I go inside it. Okay. Just to one make sure I got make sure I got all the all the little bones here. See? Okay. If you just cut the fin, you might have some uh, bone remaining. Now, see, I would not have known that. Okay, this here is there is I'm no bone. Today. Here there is no <laughs> bone, so that's good. And on the other side. Here we go. And this one? Uh, so this one, we're going to take the whole bone here with the knife. See, all the way to the jaw. You know, you have all the techniques. Here you go. That's where it all began, you know, friends. All right, so now we have a, you know, boneless Very trout. Very clean. Very, Very nice. Fresh. Woo! We've got All some right. butter popping over here. Right. <laughs> so, okay, so we're going to season the trout very well. And it doesn't take long to, to cook, so we're just going to make sure that, uh, you know, all the, the guests are at the table before to start uh, the trout. We put the trout on that, like this. We can flour it too. I mean, uh, some people flour the fish. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We're going to bring down the stove a little bit, the, the, the heat because you want it to brown, but you want also to cook it inside. Mm -hmm. So if it's uh, nice and brown and it's raw inside, it's not uh, the idea. So you're gonna cook this fish entirely on the stove top? Not Definitely, in the oven. not in the Nicely. oven, doesn't have time. Nice. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook a little bit of the uh, uh, vegetable that you would find in France again. You know, very, very basic uh, vegetable, which is... Haricot vert? Haricot vert and potatoes. <laughs> So we blanch the haricot vert in the salty water. We cool them off with ice. So uh, you can, uh, uh, I uh, suggest to do that always the day before the, the morning. Oh. So you don't have to do that at a minute. And the potatoes, the same thing. We just get some new potatoes there and uh, you just pre-cook them. So you just have to roast them in a little bit of butter and parsley. And nice. that'll be perfect. That's so actually that. nice that you can do that ahead and it saves you steps later on. So if you're entertaining and want to make this dish at home, right. it saves you time the day up. That's great. Yeah. And this is a dish that you actually serve on the menu at Caribou Cafe, correct? Oh yeah, all this dish uh, that uh, we're going to have today, they're always on the menu at Caribou. These are Ex the classics. And that's right. really what the restaurant is about, right? Being a bistro that serves classic French food in a contemporary um, atmosphere. I mean, I don't feel that ever is, is the atmosphere stuffy or intimidating. It's always lively and inviting and friendly. Yeah, I think the mix of people, that, that's what makes it. You know, you have the people who roll out at the bar. Yes. You have the diners that goes to the theater uh, in tuxedos. And then you have the conventioneer who have a tough day at the convention, so they just enjoy Need a it. glass of red wine. That's right. Yes. So you see, this is... Uh, and the outside seating, which is very nice. That's in, right. In the, that's, uh, in the summer weather. So the potatoes, I'm just going to put them this way. And that's it. So whole. Yeah, whole. Because they're cooked. They already cooked. They look pretty with the skin. So, mm -hmm. all right. So, the trap start to. So some I leave the skin because the skin protects the meat. Yeah. Some people like the to eat the skin. Some people don't. That's their problem. There is just as much uh, nutrients in the skin as uh, as the the fish. fish. In and France, it's typical you eat the skin. We eat the skin. Yeah. I don't know. We I've been skin. raised like that. So. Yes. Well, why don't you check on uh, the apple tart? I will. Just to see if it's still there. And you have some of your mother's recipes on the on on the menu at Caribou, correct? Yeah, I have a, a chocolate mousse. How does this look? All right, so to... it's good. I'm going to take uh, my. Uh, my dish, the, the, the trout is about eight minutes in. I see it's a little um, 
raw at the thickest part here. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put some butter here like this. But now we're going to finish it. So we're going to put some parsley into the <laughs> vegetable. Our ingredients. Our ingredients, <laughs> okay. I mean, you go in Paris and you'll see that you'll see all the time some uh, parsley on all the potatoes, all the... Uh, uh, mussels on the Oh yeah, yeah, I know, food, yeah. you're like uh, crazy about parsley. We'll return with more from the chef's kitchen. We're back with more classic French cuisine with Master Chef Olivier. What we're going to do, we're going to make the sauce now, and we're going to add a nice chunk of butter. We're going to add a lot of almonds and a lot of parsley as well. Second. Here we go. So we're going to finish the cooking in there. I use my hand because I had a chef in my old days who said the best spatula is your hand. So I'll listen to him. Your fingers are very adjusted to the heat. Yeah, that's, yes. that's good. We'll, uh, okay. Oh, did you steal my? Email? I did. You oh. can have it back if you'd like. No, what we say in France. No, we can't say it. But uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> all right. It looks better in you. Okay, so we get the uh, nice try it like this. So this is the amandine sauce. Here you go. Oh, you can smell right. how the almonds. And of um, course, the lemon. Got a little I bit of that nutty uh, roasted carrot. Yeah, mm. it's perfect. A little lemon for garnish. So, very simple, but very, very uh, common in, in France. On every table of the French. Sparkling white. Oh, yeah. Don't forget that. And... I almost feel like I'm, I'm at home in France, but... Um, All right. It's ready. All right, what I'm going to do right before to take it out, I'm going to put some powder sugar on it. I'm going to put it back in the oven for one second. And by the one time second. it comes out, we have a beautiful plate here. Actually, okay. Give me one. that right. I'm going to borrow that for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. I have time to drink. <laughs> what is your favorite? Um, Wine of choice from France. Is it champagne from where you're from, or? Um, no, you like I'm Burgundy open to or everything. Bordeaux? I'm open to everything. Uh, I love both. I mean, I love every wine in the world. When it's good, it's good. But yes. um, my favorite is still uh, uh, Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Yeah. In white wine, I like the wine, the crisp, crisp, uh, crisp, fruity, uh, dry white wine. Okay. All right, let me How is it? Just through. perfect? Yep. All right, so this apple tart is an individual tart. Very, very light. For one person? For one person. <laughs> but yeah. it's very thin. It's super so thin. I mean, it, it looks like more I mean, than it it's is. It's very, very light. It's maybe two ounces. I mean, it's, it's a. And what we do, of course, we're going to take a nice piece of ice cream on top. And here you have it. You have your three course dinner, typical French, that with a glass of champagne. That absolutely amazing, chef. Shall we make a toast? Let's do it again. To you, Merci, Caribou Cafe. Santé. Merci. Mm. This is wonderful, All and right. I bet this will go great with the escargot. All right, so why don't you start I with can't the wait to taste. escargot right here? All right. Oh, this is great. I'm just going to get a little piece. You like escargot? I love escargot. Okay. One of my absolute favorites. You have no choice, you know, you have to eat. You like to cook. Mmm, that is wonderful. Mm, that cream sauce really makes it. Mmm. Right? Yeah, that's very good. Mm. Okay, let's try the trout. All right, trout. so. Okay, so what's the best way to go about this? Save here? the head for me. This well, is, there is no bone. Save so, the head for you. Yeah, right. So everything here from here to the tail, it's, uh, it's, it's, just, uh, it's just uh, meat, so. Mmm, the skin is so crunchy. See how it perfectly cooked it is? Oh, it's perfect. See? And Just you perfect. only stay, what, like six, seven mm. minutes in the pan. The problem is most of the people, they cook too much uh, everything. The seafood, the yeah. meat. So, um, mm. Even the haricot vert has a perfect crunch to it. I can taste the parsley even from the, the potatoes. This is fantastic. There you go. Mm. Are you ready for dessert? The, and the, the caribou um, 
cafe uh, sparkling wine goes perfect with this dish. You know, uh, most of the most more and more people uh, drink champagne during the the, the entire meal. During the entire meal. Yeah, that's meal. a very very good idea. If you yes. don't know what to pick, uh, wine, whatever, you start with this and you finish with this. All right, I'm going for course number three, and. Uh, so today we serve it a la mode, but you don't have to have it a la mode. I like but, a la mode. Uh, a la mode is, it's a little a, ice cream. Absolutely. Mm. See, it's it's a one Warm. portion actually because it's so Cold. thin. Yeah. Sweet. What a perfect end mm. to a fabulous three course meal. I cannot wait to come to Caribou Cafe, order the trout amandine, and toast to you. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Olivier de Saint Martin. Merci. See you soon. Santé. Merci. Took something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. The Caribou Cafe is a true Parisian landmark located in the theater district in Center City. This critically acclaimed French bistro is the work of Master Chef Olivier, whose cuisine can be found in any restaurant on the Rive Gauche. Open seven days a week, our charming European getaway features imported beers, French wines by the glass, and classic French cuisine that will transport you to Paris and have you coming back for more. Enjoy brunch, lunch, or dinner, private parties, or just a table for two. Caribou Cafe, your passport to Paris. Abiento. The Chef's Kitchen, to me, it's a, it's, a, it's a kind of show where you can show techniques and uh, the chef, the, uh, the ingredients, uh, everybody is about ingredients, what's in the plate, and all about the chef. It's not, uh, there is no blah, blah, blah. <laughs>